for defeating Valme Gossier. Given Azag a 10 bonus to infantry, which is nice, and Strider, so he's not uh, having any penalty from different terrains like being in water or being in forest, which is amazing. The Hammer of Gork. These crude machines hurl rocks with such fury their targets feel as if Gork himself was assaulting them. The Teeth Robbers. After riding their enemies down, what grim price these goblins claims their own dark, devilish business. Got our 40 rep for free with Wurzag. So there we go, we've got that as a recent event. Some boys want us to fight the enemy. Do this and we will increase our chances of bringing them entirely under our rule. We did. I am true power. Azag's army is looking pretty good. But we'll just come over with Skarsnik for now. Make the extra money. I kind of want Skarsnik to do the uh, the siege, just so we can carry on healing outside. Makes sense to me. You want schemes? I got schemes. We can move up a little bit there. Who needs killing? Who should we chat? These lads are gonna stick around in case the Empire declares a war on us. I'll ignore that. I don't think either of these armies are a threat to this guy coming on down. So there we go. Third army in the midst. Let's see. I use Spirit Leech a ton on Azag. So I'm going to level it up. And uh, maybe level it up some more. Am I instead going to start casting other things if I get to them? I don't. I don't think so. Some of these other spells are okay, but I think for single target, Spirit Leech is kind of king. Goblin Big Boss will become better at. I'll enable him Vanguard deployment. Let him get stuck in there and give leadership a bit quicker. A tougher Orc Big Boss. Uh, I'm not keen to spend money till we make a bit more. Yeah. Alright, that's everything. What you up to, Greasus? I still find this a little bit suspect. Ah, so, Wurzag is the attacker here, and we are simply close enough to assist him with the battle. Yeah, so here we are. Uh, all these guys with blue health bars are, are Wurzag, with Wurzag's banner and so on. So we don't even get to deploy. We are the off-map units. Let's let's have a watch, shall we? See how a Wurzag do. The enemy approach on mounts, Commander. Keep your vulnerable units close at hand. A little bit, little bit late for the talk about mounted units, but I, advisor, you do you. So a little bit di disappointing that he didn't just go Plumping straight on in, he's waiting for me. So let's fast forward me getting here so that maybe he'll activate 
I mean, it's the right move, I suppose. But still, he didn't really need to wait for me. Allied reinforcements are arriving in support, Commander. Link up with them and surround the enemy. So these are the goblin spear chuckers. Oh, they were chucking spears initially. But we'd zoom in and have a look, and then they stopped chucking spears. Jeez, we didn't need this many troops to win this battle. Enough of this wandering around, let's bash the gits. Let's just like put a ridiculous amount on everything, on each thing, and just, you know, get in there. Pass the wind of death backwards through these. A lot of them uh, getting out of the way. Yeah, bit of an obliteration, but I wanted to see the Allied troops come in, do some stuff. I thought that'd be fun. They got colossal squig. Gonna uh, put the rock lover down. Too many of our own troops in there. Let's run them down, boys. Media only mode. They're dead, Dave. Everybody's dead, Dave. Even Kachansky. We won an obsidian amulet just for assisting. That's nice. We do get the opportunity to eat should we want to. Such a small amount of eat. I'm going to go with the extra experience for the lads. Lad takes another town. He's attacking this same one again as well. Is he actually going to cap it this time? N no. Speedy. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant rat name. <laughs> 